Okay, what we have is we have this uh, mailbox maximizer. The reason why I didn't really explain a lot of stuff, this, this does multiple things. It allows you to change your mailbox. So if, you're, if your door here ever goes bad, or your mailbox ever rusts out inside here because of the holes, you can change this mailbox out just by simply taking out this grout joint. And it's about a half inch wide, and it's gonna go in about a half to three quarters inch deep. And that'll allow you to take that mailbox, just slide it right out once you once you uh, take that mortar out. You can slide it right out. And then put your styrofoam piece back in and then over your mailbox and then slide it back in. A new one, of course. Um, inside the mailbox, this is what it looks like. This is one I built on top of a table uh, just to kind of showcase the back of it. Uh, you know, you do have a, a decent sized mud joint here. Um, but again, it allows you to just slide the mailbox in and out from the front side and keeping it hollow. Uh, let me turn this thing around here. Okay, it looks the same. Uh, what it is, is you just... Once you take the joint out, make that little wig or whatever, it comes right out. You install this is the more important piece. This is just to kind of help hold the back steady once you put it in there. And you're replacing it. Simply your back set on the back bar, reinstall this styrofoam piece in to where it's just three quarters of an inch, half to three quarters of an inch back. You take mortar and repoint this with a trowel and a tuck pointer. And once you do that, then your mailbox is installed again. So you've taken out having to rebuild the top because normally what you'll have to do if you're going to replace your top of your mailbox or replace your mailbox is you have to take it out to right here you have to take this apart try to clean these brick up if you can't clean them up or you chip them you got to get more brick uh, your mortar's never really going to match right after that from here down. So your mortar will be the old mortar to here and the new mortar to here. Um, problem with that that I found is a lot of women don't like the change in mortar color. Uh, they also like the fact, I mean, we, we went into subdivisions and replaced mailboxes uh, where somebody had gone and done a bunch of vandalism. Uh, little kids with hammers beat the doors off the of mailboxes. Uh, rust. They, they do like to rust because, you know, anytime you got masonry against the metal, uh, it will rust. Uh, here, on this, now all you have is the masonry that's just right here along the edge, here. So you, you have about a half to a three quarter inch area that can rust opposed to the whole mailbox and the whole bottom of the mailbox also. You have a wee po here at the bottom, and you have a void here underneath the bottom of the mailbox, which allows the air to flow through the box, through here. Again, you can put, we drilled a hole in the top of this box, and we took a cup that was about a 32 ounce cup, and we poured 32 ounces of water here, and before we could get done pouring the 32 ounces of water here, it was already coming out the bottom. So this, this allows the water to pass right through the box. It won't allow it to hang up again. Uh, typically in the past, they've had, the way mailboxes were built, was that everything that's here in styrofoam, this was all some type of a masonry product, either be saying they would fill it up, the whole 
mailbox all the way up to the bottom of brick. Then they would set the box in there, and in order to make this arch, they would have to build masonry up here, or wood or cardboard. I've seen buckets, cardboard, plastic. I've seen everything in here. Uh, and what that does is that, that allows the water to hold against the mailbox. It allows all that water to set inside this mailbox. Well, it's constantly trying to get out because it can't drain because it's too solid. Now, what I've heard from brick companies is that's what causes the spalling is there's too much moisture inside the mailbox and it can't get out. And as it's coming out through the brick, the water will freeze, it expands, and then we've got this, this thing called spalling. It's where the brick starts flaking or the face of the brick will just pop off uh, because the water has swelled because that's what it does when it uh, it gets uh, you know starts to freeze. But this, once you do this, you have no problems with this thing, with this, the sturdiness of it. I mean, it'll hold anything you want to put on top of it. Uh, it, it really it works good. Also, since there is a void also in between the mailbox here and the, the actual styrofoam, uh, it allows the water to pass and not hold against the mailbox with the styrofoam as well. It breathes all the way around the whole mailbox. It allows it not to rust any longer. So it, it's, it's really a, a neat product. It, we also have it flat top. We have it in what they call an eyebrow arch, which is not what we you have over here. It's more of a flat arch uh, where the sides come up before it arches over. Uh, we have it in, 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 any, in any shape, any size that you want to make this thing in. Uh, if we can get a drawing, we can make it. And, and we have these things. We have the, a product for benches where you can build benches where they're hollow. They don't have to have all that debris inside. It takes away on build time. This will save you about an hour on build time because you don't have to build this twice. You just put this product in and you roll it one time and then you're done. Uh, which is a good thing. So uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to, to call at 940-452-0308. Uh, also on YouTube, you can type in Mailbox Maximizer. It'll pop up. You can leave comments there if you'd like. So uh, uh, look forward to hearing from you.